All right, by a show of hands, who likes fish tacos? Thank you. You don't like fish tacos? I love fish Come tacos. Come on, you're making the fish tacos. I love fish tacos. By the way, this is Danielle. <laughs> She's the queen of hot sauce here. She's showing us how to whip up some amazing fish tacos. How's it going? It's going pretty good. I'm pretty having good. a Come great year. On. Are you really? Yeah, I am. Well, that's good because we just got it started, so we got to keep that going, that's right? That's right. That's right. So you're known as the queen of hot sauce. Tell me why. Okay, so I'm very good at hot sauce. I'm the best hot sauce. I pretty much, I earned the title and I <laughs> took the title. <laughs> and, and who gave you this title? I gave me the title. <laughs> well played. Well played. All right, let's talk about some fish tacos and hot sauce. And for, for, for people that don't know at home, you are a chef. Yes, I'm a private chef. I work for families. That's awesome. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so fish tacos, is this something that you love to make? I have, I think, about 20 different types of tacos. Do you really? Yes, you can turn anything into a taco. When, hey. I, when I find people who don't like tacos, I think they should get mental evaluated. <laughs> I mean, tacos are the best. They you are can the do best. anything in a taco, and I think fish taco. tacos is probably one of my favorites. All right, so you're known as the queen of hot sauce yes. for you, and now the rest of East Tennessee. What, what makes your hot sauce so great? It's the flavor. Uh, you get the freshness of the fruit, because my hot sauce is fruit-based. You get the freshness of that, and the time. Like, I only brew once a week, so you always have, like, that fresh taste in there. So you get a mango. You get a cherry. I mean, then you get a bite of pepper at the it end. It smells amazing. I tasted the mango, and it is amazing. It's Thank got a little you. kick to it, but I, definitely amazing. What got you started in the hot sauce? Um, we were out at a restaurant, and there was a mango hot sauce, and I tried it. And I really wanted to ask the waiter if he was going to mail me the mango later because I wasn't tasting any. I was like, I can do better than that. So I did so better you, than being that. being a chef, yeah. you went home and you started uh, messing around in the kitchen, right? I did. And I now did. You've come, how many different hot sauces do you have? I have five different flavors. Tell us the flavors. I have the cherry scorpion, mango madness, garlic dragon. I have the Asian sticky. And so I have a, just a plain hot sauce. And if you're around town, say at Preservation Pub or? Find me on Facebook. I'll make sure you get hot sauce. That's right. So we got, okay, what kind of sauce did you put on this taco? Okay, so the fish was marinated in lime juice and a little bit of sea salt. And then I fried it. And on top of there is avocado cream and some fresh pico de gallo. And then you can add your favorite. You add Queen your of favorite hot sauce, sauce right there, right? That's right, right yeah. Danielle, you are awesome. Thank I do appreciate you. you coming on the show here today. Thanks for and so having me. So if people want to get a hold of you on Facebook, if they want, if they're interested in some of the hot sauces, they can get a hold of you. Yes, Chef Hot Sauce. Can't miss this face. You have, wait, wait, you have Chef Hot Sauce for a Facebook page, not the Queen of Hot Sauce. Well, the hubris. You know, sometimes you have to bring it down. <laughs> Fair enough, Danielle. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank today. you.